Welcome to Alpha Numeric Tricks. In this video, we are going to see the topic solution of partial differential equation by direct integration. In this is the continuation of the previous video. In previous video, we have seen that how to get a solution of PDE by direct integration for simple problems, that is the problem without initial conditions. Now, in this video, we are going to see the problem is having initial conditions, then how to get a solution by direct integration. We will pass on to the video. That is, solve dou, dou squared z by dou x squared is equal to a squared z with the initial condition. When x is equal to 0, dou z by dou x is equal to a sin y and dou z by dou y is equal to 0. That is, given problem is taken as equation 1 and you, when the meaning of this condition is, when x is equal to 0, yeah, dou z by dou x is taken as a sin y. And when x is equal to 0, dou z by dou y value is taken as 0. Now, what is the purpose of this initial condition is, this is used to find out the arbitrary function values in this solution. Okay, so that is the main purpose of this initial condition. In previous video, this condition is not given. So, we solve the problem, that is we give the solution uh, with the uh, just arbitrary function alone, not the value of the function. If you want to see those problems, the link is available in the description box. Please refer to it. Now, we will see how to get the solution for this problem. Now, suppose your problem is having z as a function of x alone. Here in this problem, uh, z is a function of two independent variables x and y. But to get the solution, we assume z is a function of x alone. In that case, your partial differential equation becomes ordinary differential equation. That is, your dou by dou x becomes d by dx. So, you have here squared is there. So, d squared z by dx squared is equal to a squared is it or uh, you have to take that a squared z to your left hand side it becomes minus a squared is it you have to get the solution for this equation how will you get the solution first you have to write the operator form and then the ancillary equation using ancillary equation you have to find out the roots using roots you have to find out the complementary function and then the particular integral and complete solution of this is it is equal to cf plus P, that is complementary function plus particular integral. Now we will do one by one. First we have to write the operator form. What is your operator? D by dx is kept, taken as capital D. So here D square is given. So D square, capital D square, second order term is given. So capital D square is the uh, that is capital D square. You are taking this minus, minus A square, that is A plus A square is to left hand side it becomes sign. Uh, sorry, yes, uh, minus a squared is it. So, you have a z is common, take it outside. So, d squared minus a squared is equal to 0. Now, the uh, axillary equation is, how will you write axillary equation? You have to replace d by m and z is not present. And if you have any right hand side term that is taken as 0. And here, any right hand side is not present. So, let us give a 0 only given. So, m m squared minus a squared is equal to 0. Now, you have to use the formula a squared minus b squared. What is a squared minus b squared? a plus b into a minus b. So, we have m plus a into m minus a is equal to 0. Then, product of two terms is equal to 0 implies each is individually equal to 0 or at least one term should be is equal to 0. That is general rule. So, using that, we have to equate m plus a is equal to 0 and m minus a is equal to 0. From that, we can get the value of m is equal to minus a and m is equal to plus a. Now, we have two different rules are given. Uh, we obtain two different rules. How will you write the complementary function? What is the formula? a e power mx plus b e power minus mx. So, the value here is, you have to substitute z is equal to a e power m is replaced by minus a and plus a. So, you have z is equal to a e power ax plus b e power uh, minus a x. 
but this is the solution for this ordinary differential equation but in our problem is uh, partial differential equation because z is a function of two independent variables x and y so the instead of this arbitrary constants a and b we have to use the arbitrary function when you are using a function the function must have a variable that variable we take it here is the variable which we take constant here which is constant here differentiation is with respect to x is given so y is taken as constant is a fun the, that is the inside the function the variable is taken as y so we have z is equal to instead of a you have f of y into e bar ax plus instead of b you have g of y into e bar minus ax now by the equation as 2 now we have to find out the value of this f of y and g of y that is the previous problem and all we stop our solution here itself but in our problem the initial condition is given so using this initial condition we have to find out the values how many arbitrary function values we have to find two how many uh, initial conditions are given two so using these two initial conditions we have to find out the these two arbitrary function values what is your first condition when x is equal to 0 your dou z by dou x is replaced by a sin y that is we have to find out the value of dou z by dou x that is z is differentiated with respect to x now so what is that value dou z by dou x is equal to that is z is differentiated partially with respect to x so dou z by dou x is equal to f of y is constant because differentiation is with respect to x partially and e power x differentiation is a e power a x plus g of y into differentiation of e power minus a x is minus a e power minus a x that is constant term should be written in product so minus a g of y into e power minus a x now we have to use the in the first initial condition when x is equal to 0 dou z by dou x value is taken as a sin y so this is replaced by this dou z by dou x is taken as a sin y z equal to a f of y into x is equal to 0 is substituted here e power 0 is 1 minus a g of y into e x is equal to 0 so e power minus 0 that is also equal to 1 from this you have to take that left, right hand side a is common take it out, outside this right hand side a get cancelled with this left hand side a so from this remaining term you have as f of y minus g of y is equal to sin y now for the equation as 3 now we have to apply the initial condition we need to differentiate the given equation 2 with respect to y partially then in the case yeah, do, that is z is differentiated with respect to y so rho z by do y is equal to when your differentiation is with respect to y partially x is taken as constant so e per x is as it is differentiation of f with respect to y is f dash so f dash of y e per x plus differentiation of uh, g of y with respect to y is g dash of y into this e power minus a x is constant right as it is now you have to apply the second initial condition that is when x is equal to 0 dou z by dou y value is equal to 0 so substituting here this is taken as 0 so here 0 is equal to f dash of y into e power 0 is 0 x is equal to 0 e power 0 0 plus g dash of y into e power minus 0 is also e sorry when you taking f x is equal to 0 your f dash of y into e power 0 is 1 plus g dash of y into when you taking x is equal to 0 e power minus 0 is also equal to 1 so 0 is equal to f dash of y plus g dash of y now you have to find out this yet this we have to remove this derivative how do you remove this derivative you have to integrate this and differentiation integration get cancelled and the derivatives will be removed so you have to integrate this integrating this with respect to y you get f dash of y integration becomes f of y that is differentiation and integration get cancelled so you have f of y plus here also differentiation and integration get cancelled g of y is equal to your same con constant of integration is ordinary constant c because function is a single variable y function is having a single variable y that's why we are taking the uh, arbitrary constant c alone now that is 4 
Now, using 3 and 4, you have to find out the value of f of y and g of y that is substituted into a problem is over. That is, we get the required solution. Now, we have to have you find out the value of f of y and g of y. Adding 3 and 4, g of y is eliminated. So, f of y plus f of y, you have 2 f of y is equal to sin y plus c. Or you have f of y is equal to 1 by 2 into sin y plus c. Now, you have to subtract these two equations 3 and 4. Your f of y get cancelled. We get the value of g of y. So, subtracting that is f of y and f of y get cancelled. Minus g of y minus g of y. You have minus 2 g of y is equal to sin y minus c. Or you have g of y is equal to this minus 2 is taken to the denominator. So, my denominator. so 1 by minus 2 sin y minus c. Or you can take that minus 2 the numerator it becomes c minus sin y. So g of y is equal to 1 by 2 into c minus sin y. Now substituting these f of y and g of y in equation 2. So z is equal to 1 by 2 into sin y plus c into e power ax plus 1 by 2 into c minus sin y e power minus ax. That is the value of g of y. This is the required solution by direct integration. That's all for today's video. If you have any doubts in this, please provide in the comment section. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching. We will see in the next video.